So Halloween is over and now apparently people think that it's time to celebrate Christmas. And with teams like the Cavs giving out all those free baskets, I can understand their confusion. Nonetheless, I think it's a bit too early for all that holiday hoopla, but it is certainly not too early for college hoops. Start the clock. As expected, a member of the Ball family has stolen the show yet again and also a pair of Louis Vuitton sunglasses. Leangelo Ball and two of his UCLA basketball teammates, Cody Riley and Jalen Hill, were arrested in China for shoplifting from a Louis Vuitton store. I'm personally a little shocked to hear about Jello and Jalen stealing, but Cody, I mean, we all saw him in that exhibition game. He forced a turnover in the backcourt before a huge dunk and finished the game with two steals. I mean, he's certainly no John Stockton, but still, the signs were there. All I can say is at least they're in this together. They have each other's backs. I mean, they're thick as thieves. And while the UCLA basketball team has been having a rough week, the Houston Astros have been having a hell of a week, winning their first World Series in franchise history. But one Astros player in particular had an extra impossibly amazing week, Justin Verlander. The Astros won the World Series on Wednesday. Yay, oh my God, so exciting, congratulations. Then on Saturday, Verlander married Kate Upton. Okay, see, now he's just being greedy. I wonder how many people are wishing they could trade lives with Justin Verlander right now. Who, me? <laughs> yeah, I would, I absolutely would. As for real life trades, former Phoenix Suns point guard Eric Bledsoe was traded to the Milwaukee Bucks on Tuesday. It turns out tweeting, I don't want to be here, can not only get you out of an undesirable work situation, it can actually get you a better job at a better company. All jokes aside, this move should be good for the Bucks in the long run. And speaking of long run, Shailene Flanagan won the New York City Marathon on Sunday, the first American to win the women's competition in 40 years. And as if that isn't impressive enough, Shailene and her husband are foster parents providing a home for a pair of teenage twins. Oh, and she's written a best-selling cookbook. Flanagan said she hopes this inspires the next generation of women to be patient because it took her seven years to accomplish this great feet of feet. But I don't have seven years left. I don't even have seven seconds. That's my time. Thanks so much for watching Two Minute Warning. I'm Danielle Alvare. Please check back next week for a new episode. Until then, remember, run confidently in the direction of your dreams and never run from the Chinese police.